And now for the Monero development segment. A little what? nasally in that. You sound yeah, that's like... when I was sick when I did the audio. <laughs> what? You gotta switch it up. How picky he is. Jesus Christ. <laughs> How's it going, T Uh it's going pretty well. Is my audio okay? Yep, your audio sounds What's great. Going on, okay. man. Yeah, it's going pretty well. Good stuff. Good stuff. Thank you for taking the time. Yeah, they, I love this new segment, man. You're doing an amazing job on this. Thank you. Oh, thank you. thank you so much. I'm glad you guys enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Taking with it. Appreciate it. I know people out there appreciate it too. It's, it's really good info. Oh, thanks. But um, today we just want to go over, over. Sorry, you want to talk about something? I don't want to just hop into it. No, no, no. I saw you. I saw you look, lurking in like the uh, the research groups and the Monero Dev groups. Um, I see you asking questions there, which is awesome. What what is like currently being discussed and talked? Have you have you kept your eye on that? Like, I think there was like a research meeting this week. Oh yeah, it was. Um, the research meeting was really cool. I wasn't there to catch it live. Yeah, so Rang was there, which is really cool to see him um, regularly. I don't know if he's there regularly, but first one I've read when he's there, it's really cool. They just talked about some like um, very experimental technology. Um, they talked about just entertain. They well, um, someone wrote a paper talking about improving bulletproof. Yes. And they pretty much had the pe the writers of the paper come to the research group and talk about the paper a little bit. It was a little rough because the paper wasn't like public, so like I couldn't read it. But I believe right. Serene read it and asked them some questions about it. Just very experimental, you know, very early conversations, nothing solid. Just really cool research they were talking about. Awesome. And that's what inspired you to talk about Bulletproof today? Oh, actually, no. The, the recent um, funding for Bulletproof literally just got funded. Uh, I believe yesterday, the last, maybe this morning or like last night, the last funding for the audit just got pushed through. Awesome. Yeah, Perfect. so I can. Yeah, give us the rundown. Yeah, so basically, um, Monero has had. Let me go with the next slide. So, Monero Bulletproof, what is a bulletproof? You might ask. Um, actually, talk about that. The reason I talk about this is because literally, um, Monero raised 16,500 USD. It, of course, it was in the form of XMR, but that's like the peg rate they use to fund the audit of Bulletproof Plus, essentially. So it's a lot of money put into this. I believe Serang is going to also be working on this via CypherStack, I believe. And so it's a lot of money put into this. So it was really cool tech. Monero has had Bulletproof before, but since this one got funded recently, I think it just came through this morning. I want to talk a little bit about what Bulletproofs are in general and why we spent so much money on getting th these audited. So, Sweet. yeah, I remember. I remember it was a really big deal when Bulletproofs initially got added, and like oh. a tremendous amount of fish efficiency. Overnight. Oh yeah, I mean, be beautiful, and, and they're still talk about being used for other things also um, in Monero moving forward, which is really cool um, field of study. But like, what is a what is a Bulletproof in general? A Bulletproof just pretty much is a tool they use to help hide the amount. Um, for a moment, um, in Monero, the amounts weren't weren't hidden on the blockchain. You would pull from a different pool, so the amounts, the exact amounts you spent, weren't really hidden. But when Monero got Ring CT, the amounts became hidden. But it was a big issue because Ring CT took up a lot of space because it hides the amounts and it does a bunch of other stuff also. So pretty much, bulletproofs came along and they were used to help hide the amounts and save space also. And like I said, it was it was introduced. Bulletproof, the original one, was introduced in October 2018, and then over time, it bulletproofs have been attributed for helping give an 80% drop in Monero transaction time, which is like, I mean, 80% is crazy. So bulletproofs are pretty awesome, and that's just a very high level of what a bulletproof is. So Monero has gone through bulletproof, which is the original paper, bulletproof plus, and then bulletproof plus plus is the one that's getting audited right now by CypherStack or in the pipeline and get audited. Sweet. Yeah, we, we had uh, Benedict Buns on Monero Talk. I'm looking right now. It was four years ago. Oh, wow. I might have watched that one, actually. It was like, yeah, like a, like a few weeks after he, you know, he came up with it. Yeah. So that's. That. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did watch that one, actually. Yeah, 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 yeah. I recommend going to check that one out. It was, it was a classic. Yeah, I honestly feel like you, you have so much content on Monero Talk. I've, I've binged it for hours. It would be very helpful if you had like a website that like, Breaks it sort down. of catalog like catalog that can yeah, yeah. Right. shit so you need to add that to the list 
<laughs> You're the stink guy over here. Because it's a lot of content. I mean, one I podcast a week for what? Since 2016? Two podcasts. No, two. 20, 20, late 2017, 2018. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's actually overwhelming amount of content. It's hard. I try to find it on Spotify, which is like, you have to just scroll for days and stuff. And then, like, space is kind of faulty for playback. But yeah, Doug, Doug and not, not just Doug, the Monerotopia team has done a lot of great work. <laughs> Yeah, you're part of that now, man. You're part of that. <laughs> well, yeah, just to um, demonstrate how important bulletproofs are, I'm going to go to a slide next. And I know uh, it's a big skin, a, a big sin to not post the Y values, but this is just a graph. The red is going to be Monero's um, blockchain size. So you can ignore the yellow. It was on um, uh, this Bitcoin size, so ignore the yellow. But right now, at the beginning, if you look at 2014, this is when Monero first got adoption. First came into creation, and you can see a line here. If you look somewhere around 2017, you're going to see a large spike in the transaction rate. And that is when we got um, Ring CT without bulletproof, essentially. So the, trans the blockchain, blockchain size increased a lot in a very relatively short time because we were hiding the amounts, but we weren't using an efficient range proof such as bulletproof. Well, something not as efficient as bulletproof. And then you can see it teeters off here around the time that we got um, Bulletproofs Plus or bulletproof, Bulletproofs. And then over time, the Monero blockchain has this getting more efficient over time. It's been leveling off here and getting more and better upgrades. So if anyone says that scaling is a problem with Monero, you know, Monero is getting, like, not exponentially, but very, more, very, very much more efficient. The scaling is getting a lot better, and it's just amazing the tech that's coming out. That's a fantastic chart, man. You made that? No, no, no. This is from MoneroJu.net. No, no, I didn't make that. It's actually okay. a live update of the site. They, they have a lot of great skills, a lot of great charts. I, I can drop in the notes oh, for I, you. I, I, know, I know the site you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, you can literally see, if you look around here, when we got Ring CT, that big uptick, and where, when it starts to fall off is when we got more adoption of, of the Bulletproof scheme, mm -hmm. and it levels off a little bit more, and Bulletproof has gotten more efficient. So it's just really cool to actually see a graph for that. Right, like so. If we if we didn't get bulletproofs, we would have like blasted through Bitcoin in terms of blockchain size. Yeah, they probably would have come up with something like you know something more efficient than the current range proofs that. But look, yeah, um, look how fast yeah. it with the size size of the yeah. chain is growing pre bulletproofs. It was like, yeah, really vertical. Yeah, it's it's, it's pretty rough. Yeah. So got bulletproofs and things got a whole lot better. I believe other people like other like bulletproofs are a very large academic subject also, and they're really cool. And you can do different things with them, such as the next slide. Like you asked about the MLR research. These, these were the people that they interviewed. The one thing I want to reiterate, this is like really early. Not like, it's, it's not like they're like, oh, we're going to use it. It's super, super early. They're like, hey, we just want to talk to you guys about your paper. So that's what happened at the Monero um, Research Lab meeting. And this, um, and this one actually improves upon bulletproofs with, by using different like um, cryptographic methods inside of it. So that's one me method that Monero is exploring moving forward. Just you know, just an idea about improving bulletproofs. So you no, know, better bulletproofs equal better scaling, which equals you can do bigger ring sizes, each equals better privacy, so on and so so forth. Yeah, I'll try to reach out to these guys to do a Monero talk. Oh yeah, yeah, they were they were probably really cool. I was warned by I believe not warned, but they just like put an asterisk on it by Rucknum that the the research isn't as clear or as solid as other research because like the paper isn't public so he says some things about that so you can check the chat i don't want to misquote him but yeah they seem like really nice people they answer questions serang had a conversation with them i wasn't really you know i'm not at the level of them but it seemed like they had a great conversation around us they probably would really enjoy it yeah and it looks like they're out of some uh, like out of italy right some university in italy or something i believe so i could be mistaken i can drop the link here but yeah you can review the ruckman what ruckman said about the paper in the chat also really cool tech though really nice guys also or people <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fantastic to see man like you said i mean for anybody that says like monero won't be able to scale there there's ignoring yeah, no. reality i mean there's there's kind of like new breakthroughs happening yeah i mean like an 80 percent drop in it's just not crazy but yeah um Sweet. and like i said you want more papers the monero research lab keeps like a literally a host of papers you can study and like I said, Doug was talking about the Monero, the Monero workshop meetings. They're really awesome. You can find them on the Monero or the Meta Monero GitHub. 
they have the meeting logs there and all that good stuff also. It was really great stuff, really cool stuff. Sweet. Let's post these links. We should post Oh yeah, links. I'll give them to you right now. But yeah. Um yeah, is it, any questions? Yeah, no, no. Great job, man, as always. Great job, great job. <laughs> I recommend people, yeah, follow along, you know, go into the ch those chat logs. I I don't always have in fact, I don't do it all too often, but when I do, I, I never regret it. Like you, you just pick on some up on so much information when you hear it coming directly from the source, from the devs and the researchers. It's really good stuff. All right, man. All righty. Fantastic job. I think you muted Did we lose him? We no. Okay. I think he muted himself. Uh, Digo, through. thank you. We know you got to go. Yeah. We will thank move it along. Thank you so much for joining. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you soon. Adios. Bye. -bye.